Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Long time no see. It's been a while. As you guys can tell by the title of this video, I have exciting news. I did get into the University of Maryland and I want to talk about my experience as a transfer student coming from community college and continuing my education to a four-year institution at a pretty big school like UMD. I also just want to talk about how I'm going to be starting kind of like a more lifestyle college student series on my channel documenting this really exciting time in my life so close to the end of my stretch of my education and I just feel really grateful. I take education really seriously as a first gen college student. I don't take that lightly so if this inspires anybody at all um, then I did my job just spreading my story so other than that, let's get straight into this video. I've been attending community college for the last two years and I enrolled as a communications major. And so yeah, I'm a communications major. Basically, I've been taking like all the general classes that you would need when you first enroll at a college, any college. I did that at my community college while also taking comm related classes as well. I worked with advisors and they really helped me to find out like what classes I need to take and what classes I don't need to take. Obviously, that's really important. Um, if you don't know it yourself, you should definitely ask for help, whether it be a counselor or an advisor or an academic coach. Um, you definitely want someone there to help you and guide you because you can't do everything on your own and you don't know all the answers so it's okay to ask for help and ask questions. I definitely don't recommend working with a counselor because I feel like a counselor is for everybody. I would definitely recommend working with like a mentor or someone who can really work on your journey with you one on one so they can really know who you are and your strengths, your weaknesses and I know that at least for my community college we also had an advising sheet also known like as an academic plan so that was really helpful for me as well i'm definitely one of those people that like to have a plan that really provided me like information on like okay what to expect the next semester which classes i should take next because it was like all laid out there on paper so i would definitely recommend asking for an academic plan time is money and you don't want to take classes that you don't need definitely colleges are looking at your academic work now in college they're looking at your transcripts from now so definitely like do your thing in community college I feel like community college is like the perfect time to maybe if you didn't get like the best grades to redeem yourself and if you always have like good grades then like keep it up you're almost there two years goes by really really quick if you like do your thing and you just pass all your classes like you you're like knocking every tech list off and you'll be done before you know it yeah if you guys have like, any specific questions and definitely let me know i know i kind of talked vaguely about like the application process so if you guys want like a more dedicated video definitely let me know if you guys enjoyed this video and if you guys did give it a big thumbs up if you guys want to see more from me then subscribe down below and also leave a comment and i'll talk to you guys in my next video bye